video end because I ran out of space because I didn't delete yesterday, so yesterday or Monday's video because idiot. This Twitter as of twenty two to seven p.m. on Wednesday, the second of November, twenty twenty two, part two. Happy one week before midterms. Here's a report we just put out on six networks that Twitter released to outside researchers. Five of the six had a fair bit to say about American politics, including the election. They varied between fake Dem and fake Republican perspectives. We're staying vigilant against attempts to manipulate conversations about the 2022 US midterms. Renee De Rosetta, sister. It's the director of research at the cybersecurity company New Knowledge. It involved a scheme to link the more campaign the thousands of Russian accounts who suddenly began following the Republican candidate on Twitter, a development that drew multi sorry, national media attention. Jonathan Morgan is the chief executive of New Knowledge. Researcher whose firm wrote a report on Russian interference used questionable online tactics during a Senate race, I'm guessing that's Alaska or something. We orchestrated an elaborate false flag operation that planted the idea that the Moore campaign was amplified on social media by a Russian botnet, the report from New Knowledge says. Ron Paul accused Democrats of politicizing the mysterious attack on Paul Pelosi in order to misdirect voters away from the state of the country ahead of the midterm. Sorry, excuse me, putting my legs on the bed. Financial analyst Jim Kramer appeared the confused hell out of his CNBC co-host who said again going on a bizarre rant about Chinese corona lockdown and vaccine propaganda being a good thing. <clears throat> MSNBC's perpetual race baiter Joy Reid hosted Hillary Clinton who immediately suggested that the attack on Paul Pelosi which was seemingly carried out by a whacked out left wing hippie is part of the violent racism enabled by conservative or something. Um, what was I going to say? Nah, I forgot. Author, archaeologist, and broadcaster Neil Oliver discussed the spoiler of the current global mass migration crisis, has historical parallels, are well or it is truly unprecedented. All Rishi Sunak's campaign pledges from summer leadership race under review. <laughs> Translation, everything I promised I will now betray. So we've now reached the oops, sorry phase of the pandemic aftermath. No, we're not just going to forget about it and move on.